Look, you want to hear something stupid? Camera running? I do. And may I ask why? Uh, just because I'm filming in the post office. That's not allowed. <laughs> Shut the camera up. But okay. I'm not shooting the camera. So then you can leave the property. I'm not leaving the property. Yeah. You can call up a PD if you want. Oh, well. Okay. Or well, I guess we're going to talk to you. Somebody call. Advising you that you're not trespassed for a period of 365 days. But let me uh, go down there, talk yeah. to them. I'll, I'll look for you. Sorry so, it took me so long. That's all right. I'm assuming you called Rod Spurgeon. I didn't, but she did. Okay. You were correct. All right, guys, we're in Renton, Washington. We're gonna go uh, check out the USPS here, as well as the Department of Licensing. In just a second and see if they respect our rights to film in public. Beautiful day out here in Seattle. Usually it is super rainy, but not looking like it today.
I need to send send this to the Arizona. Okay, that? so you wanna get there tomorrow? Yes. Okay, so this is the one to fill it out from only two. You get there tomorrow, twenty six thirty five. Twenty six? Twenty six dollars and thirty five cents. Or yes. do you wanna do priority mail? Can put in here or? You wanna do priority mail? This is the one there. Oh. Seven ninety five about three or four days. Okay. Which one you like it? You want a seven ninety five or twenty six thirty five? No, for tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay? The so clock? from and to and let me know whenever you're ready, right. okay? Okay. Hello, I am looking to buy a stamp, please. Okay. How many? One stamp? Just one stamp. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Any other stamps, postcard, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. You want a receipt or uh, email or both? No, I'm good. Okay, thank Thanks, you. have a good day. I do. And may I ask why? Uh, just because I'm filling in the post office. That's not allowed. <laughs> sure it is. It's right on the wall over there. What is? You're not allowed to fill? Yeah, your rules are literally over on that wall. You're not allowed to fill in the post office. It literally says you can over there. Especially because of security reasons. People in line holding their debit cards, credit cards. We have security. It literally says on the wall over there on poster 7 that you can do it. How can I help you today? I was curious about on the, the white wall over there, uh, you've got space for lease. Are you talking about physical space or Correct. just... Okay, so not the advertising wall space. No. But how, much, how much space is available over there? It's not over there. It's down in the downstairs. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you.
there it is, folks. Poster 7 right there. And it says... Photographs for news, advertising, or commercial purposes. Apparently one of the guys up there. It's a GoPro. A what? GoPro, just a little camera. Yeah. Yep. Put it on the end of the stick and go enjoy your day. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just trying to find a, my mask. Find your what? Oh, no, I. Oh, mask, mask. I thought you said maps. <laughs> no. I was like, I can't help you with your maps, and I don't think I can help you with your mask either. <laughs> Well, you want to hear something stupid? Sure. I seen, uh, I think it was uh, Fred Myers. Anyway, this guy's walking in and he didn't have a mask, right? Okay. Anyway, this, or no, it wasn't Fred Myers, it was Rite Aid. Okay. But anyway, uh, he goes, dude, you can use my mask. <laughs> I don't now think I'm going to wear someone else's anyway, mask. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I had tears in my eyes. I used my mask. Wipe the. I can't believe it. How pathetic is that? That's pretty bad. Well, hey. well, you should see what I just did. No, this is even. We all got to do what we got to do in the middle of the I, pandemic. Wait. I got. I just got given these. They're silver. So they're actual silver. Yeah. That's they're, cool. There's two ounces of silver. That's but anyway, very cool. I, I, no, I traded a picture for them. You traded a picture for the two silver coins? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. That's what silver's what about twenty nine an ounce right now? And those are two ounces. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, yeah. That's so. about a good hundred twenty bucks right there. Must have been a good picture. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a good deal. No, I mean, I, I mean, I unless got, you traded something. No, I got the picture. At, I. I was drinking in a local bar, okay. and um, some guy just goes, "Hey, you you want this?" He just gave you two silver coins. No, well, no, I sold it to the Renton Coin Shop. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> like, "Wow, which bar are you going to where they're just handing out silver coins?" I need to go there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I couldn't believe him because I I didn't think it was worth. Well, here I'll get the door for you. But it just kind of blew my mind. There you go. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll keep them, you know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I got, a, I got a couple at the, uh, I got a couple of uh, bars of silver that I, I had from a long time ago. It took, I mean, I probably had them for, gosh, 20, 22 years or so. Just held on to them, always hoping silver was going to, you know, become super expensive. But Well, it's, it's needed for... Um, it is. Electronics. It's likely always going to be needed for that. But well, I mean, same, same with platinum. Yeah, you know, it's always weird to me that platinum is. Let's get something that comes in. It's always weird to me that platinum is worth less than gold. You know, that's always been weird to me. You'd think platinum would be at the top, but I guess they just don't use it as much. I mean, I think that's what goes to show yeah, that well, gold is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to leave the building now, please. Thank you. With the recording device. Why would you ask me to leave? Because you are not allowed to record in here. Ma'am, that, that, that over there on Poster 7 says I can record. No, it does not. Ma'am, I will show it to you. You need my permission. You do not have oh, my permission. you know what? Thank you. The district manager sent me an email. I can show it to you if you'd like. Rod Spurgeon sent me an email saying, you literally can't stop me. You're not the authorized personnel. So if you want... Do something else. Jeez.
Jeez, the nervous in people. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm good, Yeah, you too, man. Who are you? I'm the postmaster. You're the postmaster. Okay. And this is completely legal to do. Your postmaster says it right. Where's it say that? Right here. Photographing for news, advertising, or commercial purposes. And what are your purpose? Gathering content for a story. If you keep reading them, just yeah. Please. Or other authorized personnel. Do you know You're who Rod? Authorized. Do you know who Rod Spurgeon is? I do not. He's the district manager. He's not the district manager. He is the district manager of Seattle Postmaster is a female, yeah. number one. He is a Western Region district manager. Western I region already received the email from you. you want to see it? Yeah, I'd like to. Absolutely. Shut the camera off. And tell but them. I'm not sure you can. So then you can leave the property. I'm not leaving the property. Yeah. You can call up a PD if you want. Oh, well. Okay. The thing you need to understand, too, is Poster 7, that excerpt, comes from the law. Damn. It comes from 39 CFR 232.1. Mm -hmm. And there's a DHS memo from 2018 that says this is perfectly legal to do. It isn't. You know what? I got some literature for you. For you I got some literature for you. Get out of my building. Here's the literature right here that says I can do everything that I'm doing right now. Okay. Must be here to we talk with the postmaster to and hang out. Uh, Must be to, here to talk to the postmaster and hang out. Or I guess we're here to talk to you. Somebody call. Okay. Yeah, we'd like him to leave and be trespassed off the property. He's filming without our consent. Okay. And it's not legal to be filming the post office, even though he says that it is. Unfortunately, that's not true. Their own rules from the postmaster general right there stipulate I can. With permission. And Rod Spurgeon from the United States Postal Service clarified for me in an email, which I'd be happy to share with you right now, that in fact, I can do this very thing. Now, you So what you do? Why are you filming? I'm just filming in public property. Why? I don't have to have a reason. It's public you don't have property. A reason? I don't have to have a reason. So no. you're just in here for shits and giggles, though? I didn't say I'm in here for that. So why are you here? I don't have to explain to you why I'm here. Well, I'm here because they told me to come here. So okay, cool. They're going to ask me. Are you you can ask. Am I being so, detained? So, sir, I don't know the rules as far as what the post office has. I've got some literature here if you'd like to read it. That's fine. It's it all may, the rules for so, the United States well, Postal Service. So, hold on, sir. So, it may have been legal prior to this moment because now you are being trespassed. You mean as of yesterday okay. morning it was legal and it changed within the last 24 hours? No, you, it's not legal for you to be on the property. Absolutely it is. No, it is not any longer. That's why I'm advising you that you're not trespassed for a period of 365 days. So you're, you're, you're trespassing? Yeah, the manager has the right to trespass you off the property. That's correct. And what happens if I don't leave? You go to jail. You're subject to arrest. All right. So if I don't leave, you're going to arrest me. Uh, well, if you don't leave and they want to press charges, then yes. But you're saying if I don't leave, you're going to trespass, or well, you're going to arrest me. What I'm me. saying is I'll give you a reasonable amount of time to leave the property if you fail to leave the property. But if I fail to do that, you're going to arrest me. Correct. Well, it depends if they want to press charges. If they want to press charges, yes. Well, the problem is, is you have to make the choice whether or not you're going to arrest me if I don't leave. You're the ones here. You're the enforcement mechanism. Right, but so if you're going to do that, I need a victim. They need to be a victim. So they need to be willing to They just said they want me trespassed. So if I don't leave, they just said that, you're going to arrest me. If Is that I right? If I contact them again, they say, yes, I'd like to press charges for you trespassing them. No, no, no. Yes, I, that's an option. You're telling me you want me to leave because they've trespassed me. And if I don't leave, what happens? You're subject to arrest. Okay. 
well then, under threat of arrest and duress of that arrest, I'll leave. Yeah. But the problem, and you guys really need to understand, when you climb the mountain, you find the silver, silverback grill at the top, that's gonna be my attorney. Laugh and have a good time right now, enjoy it. Thinking that your qualified immunity is gonna stay intact, it's not going to, okay? So I'll leave. Thank you. Find the grill at the top. Hey guys. Oh, sorry, wrong person. Sorry about that. Hey, can you come here for a sec? I'd like that, I'd like that notice by the way. You'd like? I'd like the notice you're supposed to give either orally or verbally. Washington Administrative Code 468-300-806 discusses trespass warnings, so I want it. I'll give you a blank copy of one, how's that? This what's, your, is our... what's your name and badge number? I'll get you a card. I don't know why you guys got to do this. You're just literally choosing I don't think I have one to on fuck me. up. No, sir. I'm responding to a call for service. They called. You know, seriously, look at this. you off of their property. They explicitly identified you. No, I get so it. I'm not going to engage in this for too long. My name is Officer Nelson. Oh, I need your ID. Right I need your uh, card or your name and badge number, too. And my badge number is 12327. What about yours? I don't know his. Why do you want it? You have him on film though. I think you can obviously that why. I already said I'm gonna go talk to my ID attorney. Too. I have your ID? Hell no, you can't. So why should I give you mine? Because you're a public servant. You, you work it. on my dime. Alright, so. So it's in your I, I have nothing to hide. I could give two craps, right? If you really I love it mine, when I love it when you guys do this. You think that, that QI oh is gonna stand. Stop, you think it's gonna stop, stand. Stop. Dude, you're one of them. Oh, and then when it hits the civil court system, you're going to get wrecked. I'm going to head over there right now and file the complaint. Have a good day, you dicks. Oh, there you go. Renton Police Department violating everybody's rights all day long. We'll get this squared away with the United States Postal Service and... All right, guys, I am at the Renton City Hall and Police Department, so I'm waiting for a police officer to come out. So one of them is Chris Reyes. Are you here, sir? I am. Yes. Can you tell me where the gift is in a car so that I can get the right 
Sergeant? What? Can you tell me where the incident occurred so I can get the correct sergeant to help you out? Yeah, at the United States Postal Service. Here in Renton? Yes. Okay, hold on. Thanks. Got a body cam? I do not. Dang it. Wow, okay. Uh, anyways, I want a positive outcome out of this. I, I want basically either you, yourself and myself or the other police officers that were at USPS to go back and explain to them that what was happening is completely lawful. And I want to provide you, what happened is, I, they didn't say they conducted an investigatory detention for me being there. But during the time that I was there, I tried to show both the postmaster as well as the police officers that I have express permission to be there. As in a person from the post office said, yes, you can be there and the postmaster cannot tell you to leave. As in someone above that postmaster, I actually have that evidence. I tried to provide it to the uh, to the police officer, and they wouldn't have anything to do with it. Admittedly, I was kind of pissed at the end. So uh, you know, I'd also like uh, if everything turns out well, if everybody shake hands and walk away nice at the end of the day. But that's basically what I want to achieve. So if I can have a couple minutes of your time to show you what I'm talking about, so you can see I'm not blowing hard or anything like that, I'd be happy to show that to you. Yeah, 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 and okay. I, got all, I got all the time in the world. So so, so l let me uh, let me, let me, me just pre preface just a couple sure. things. you bet. Because I, I, a couple of the officers said, hey, there's a gentleman that's gonna come up, and yep. uh, I don't think he was happy the way he was served. And uh, I'm like, okay, tell me what happened. They kind of gave me the gist of it. I called the post office just to get their side of it because I want it to be fair all the way around. Yeah. And so Absolutely. This I don't think this is about you being there physically. This is about you fil yeah, filming yeah, filming at the post office. Yep. According to and we may just go round and round on this, but according to the person who's in charge at the post office, she says there is a poster there that is put up that says there shall be no filming in the post office. And this is due to security reasons. And she says, we go to training and everybody's trained <coughs> on that policy yeah. for no uh, picture taking or no cameras inside the post office. And apparently you did not want to not do that. You wanted to keep filming. And so right. that's why you were asking me, not just because you were there. No, I, I totally okay. get it. I know it wasn't my presence. I know it was that I was filming. Correct, sir. So, what I saw, the only sign, and no one ever told me of anything other than that, when you go into the lobby, um, the left side of the, of the desk, there's a sign up there that says, no cell phones in the lobby. Okay. That's the only directive sign on the premises that I saw. And I walked around, you can look at security cameras, probably 12, 15 times. Now, what I did is I referred to them to poster seven, which is on their wall, which is this. And if you look right here, Photographs for news advertising. See my age. Oh, it, <laughs> See right. my age. I'm starting. To, I'm starting to get it too, man. Yeah. I'm starting to get it yeah. too. Oh, and where, where are you pointing at? Uh, photographs okay. for news advertising. Yep. Except where prohibited by official signs. Mm -hmm. And and she says that there is a sign there that prohibits. That prohibits there is one for cell phones she said there's one she said there is no photography or um, now the other thing the yes. other thing I want to show you yes sir is this that poster 7 huh. comes from that code of federal regulations it's a federal law if you go to the, I think it's page 4 there's a subsection H subsection 5 subsection 1 which is exactly the paragraph that I just showed you so By you, them, so you want me to go to H51. H51? Yeah, H51. You can flip, sorry. There we go, there's H. And then if you go to subsection 5 and then one of that. What that what that paragraph you just read from poster 7 uh -huh. is taken from that federal law. And this okay. the title of that is conduct on postal property. I see the poster oh, 51. Okay, yep. so go. Sorry. No. Photographs for news, so, so it's almost the same thing. No, it is exactly the same okay, thing. Okay, so except as prohibited by official signs. That's Correct, right. but they didn't have that. She and says there's one there. And the problem is, is she never showed it to me. So she's basically making something up and kicking me off the federal, federal public property where I have a right to be without even saying, here's the sign. She never showed it to me. Not only that. Well, I'll go, I'll go drive up there right now and take a look at it. I'd like that. And yeah. also, also, the other thing I wanted to show you here. Yeah, yeah. 
let me just pull this out. This directive, it's from the Department of Homeland Security. Okay. They control all federal law enforcement, all. Postal inspectors, FBI, U.S. Marshals. Okay. That, that entire document right there specifically compels. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Specifically compels the post office to honor my right to go in there. They cannot make a sign and put it up unless it's by the directive of the postmaster general, him or herself, to overdo that. Now, the nail in the coffin is I got an email yesterday from the Western Region District Manager's Strategic Communications Director. He expressly says they literally cannot do what they just did. They being they cannot put a poster up they cannot says, prohibit me from being from filming in there regardless there is nothing they can do and it's literally says then why why would my question is why would they train for that and then have something posted on there honestly that says that? in all fairness it probably is just a mechanism of of middle management making a mistake yeah. i mean people make mistakes it happens every I day mean, yeah i mean i'm not I'm not trying to beat them up for being human. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that they honor my right to be able to go into a U.S. post office as yeah. a taxpayer to conduct my business. And I'll show you this right here. So. He, he emails me here, right? Uh, Rod Spurgeon. Okay. So Rod Spurgeon at USPS.gov. Okay. He repeats everything in Poster 7. Okay. Right? So I then say to him, thanks for the swift reply. Yep. Who are the other authorized personnel from the regulations? Our policies allow videographers, whether it's a local news station or a self-identified auditor, that would be me, to film as long as they don't impede operations, such as blocking access through a doorway or preventing customers from transacting business. Okay, I and, never and, did and, that. And, right, no one's saying you did. Who wrote that? Rod J. Spurgeon. Can I write that name down? Absolutely. Start, when I go back there, I yeah. want to get that to her. If you want, I'll forward this to you. That's okay. Okay. I'm an, I'm an old school guy. You that's pen, right. Pen and paper, baby. No, that's all right. <laughs> I, you, you are awesome, sir. I, <laughs> I like you a lot. Yeah. So, what's his name again? Rod J. Spurgeon. S P U R G E O N. S P U R G E N. E O N, sorry. Spurgeon. S P U R G E O N. Okay, Rod? Yep. Rod J. at USBS.gov. And I go to clarify even further when I say. So basically put, it's just something I need to contend with if, uh, it, you know, uh, in terms of me, or if someone doesn't want me to video and photo, they just have to deal with it. Right. He says, there are no other authorized, per or I said, there are no other authorized personnel that I can get to kick out such a person, if I'm understanding correctly. Yeah. He says, correct, we respect the opportunity to film in our lobbies as long as it doesn't disrupt the operation. Yeah, 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 like yeah. you're talking about. So the thing is, is this is coming from the Western region district manager's office in Salt Lake City for the Western region. Yep. And they're saying this can't happen. So basically what I want to have happen, I don't want this to escalate. I want to basically have what would be preferable is you go talk to them that way they're not feeling all cornered. And then once it's squared away, I walk back in there and I'm like, look, I get that it's uncomfortable filming, but it is allowed by the postmaster general and the district manager if for the Western allowed, region. If it's allowed, it's allowed. Yeah. If it's not, it's not. Simple yeah. as that. Really. And, and that's, and the frustrating thing about the officers is only that I tried to demonstrate to them all of the laws and the email from yeah. the district manager's office yeah. from Rod Spurgeon. And they're like, not listening to it, not hearing it. I'm not going to look at it. You're trespassed. And frankly, what's even more upsetting is I, I really beat a drum. I said, look, um, if you're going to arrest me, then under threat of arrest and arrest, I will leave because I don't want to get arrested. Who does? But at the same yeah. time, I shouldn't have to be put in a position to be told, you're going to jail unless you bend the knee. Yeah. I, you know, there's nothing wrong with what I did. Yeah, so which, this is what which, I want to get squared out. Which post office was it? Uh, the one down at, is Williams? Williams, yeah, we only have two here. Well, okay. and there's this some on the Highlands, but yeah. two down here. Yeah. So it's just the one on Williams? All one down there, yeah. Okay, cool. Can I, I get your, uh, just if you don't want to give me your name, that's fine. Um, because I, I guess you didn't want to give it. Yeah, you want to give me just a, a phone number to first name? I, I really don't. Want How do I get back to you then? I'm gonna walk down there. Okay. So I and I won't go in. I'll wait till you're done talking okay. to him. Okay. And if the, if the postmaster wants to come out, we can all show the email to one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he wouldn't listen to it either. Okay. He was, I'm guessing, feeling that his back was against the wall or something. I get it. I get it. Sometimes people get their hackles up and they get in the pride corner and they don't want to go. Yeah. But 
I'll walk over there, I'll meet you over there, and then when you're done talking to them, maybe we can all have a conversation. I just want the trespass notice gone. Yeah. They told me I can't go back there for a year. And that's pretty inconvenient. And yeah, not only inconvenient, but it's not comporting with the USPS uh, rules and regulations, yeah. which is a federal law, yeah. as well as the DHS, which controls law enforcement. So if a postal inspector showed up right now, you know what he'd be doing? No idea. He'd be saying, I'm not doing anything because yeah. my daddy, my boss, the postmaster general, yeah is in charge of me. I'm not doing anything about it because he said he can be here. Yeah. So that's basically what I'm shooting for. Okay, sounds good to me. Least... Sergeant, yeah. you are an awesome sure, professional. Sure you say that now. <laughs> no, I appreciate your demeanor. I do. Well, I really you know appreciate what? It's the way you treat people. Yeah, I agree. You know, I mean, that's, it's as simple as that. Yeah, I agree. You know, so I agree. I'll tell you what, let me uh, go down there, talk yeah. to them. I'll, I'll look for you, you yeah. know, the orange jacket. Yeah, you'll see me. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, Give me, give me a few my minutes. My mom and dad, took, my mom and daddy told me to cross the crosswalk wearing bright colors. Here I am. Listen to your mom and dad. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you later. I'll see you in a few minutes. Ah. Thanks, Arn. All right, that is a good sergeant at the uh, Renton Police Department right there. Uh, he is awesome. We're going to see if we can get this rectified. He was extremely professional. He listened to me the entire time, as you can see. Extremely polite and courteous. He's going down. I'm going to walk over just a few blocks away, and we're going to get this squared away, I think. Hopefully, that's what happens. Stay tuned. Well, guys, it looks like they're actually calling Rod Spurgeon. I would guess it's what's going on. I had it uh, paused there for quite a while. I'd say the last 20, 25 minutes. Actually longer, because I paused it when I started walking over. So I guess it's been close to 40 minutes now. I've been just, I walked over from the city hall where the police department is. Um, spoke with the sergeant there, as you see on the video. And I've been waiting outside. You can tell the uh, the city of Renton sergeant's uh, vehicle by the two facts. One, you got that nice bumper over there, but they always pull in backed up, almost always, so they can move on quick. So I'm waiting for the sergeant to get out, but I'm pretty sure he's talking to Rod Spurgeon right now. Rod Spurgeon is the west region i misspoke earlier i said district manager i meant to say the west region communications director so that encompasses many states uh if i remember correctly washington idaho montana alaska hawaii california nevada uh, and maybe a couple others um so basically this is the guy who says hey this is what all of our our notices mean and all that kind of stuff clarifies it and I, that email I got from Rod Spurgeon was meant to exactly accomplish what I told everybody about so far on video which is it is to clarify the or other authorized individuals of that so thanks hey, aren't hey, so, sorry it took me so long that's all right I'm assuming you called Rod Spurgeon I didn't but she did okay you were correct all right. So, you, you, so, so here's what I told her. I, okay. I had a long conversation with her, and I wanted to make sure everything was right. Yep. And so, kind of what the story is, and and I get it. Like, and it's kind of like what you, it's kind of like what you, um, started on. Sure. It was a mistake. Yeah. They, they they they've been training, they, and they're still going. They've had they actually have people scheduled to train, on this whole issue, about photography uh, right and, th and there was an issue about and apparently their attorneys are still working on it because of all the issues but there was like you and the training is actually broken down further like maybe you can't uh, have photography by the customers because they got the credit cards out yeah but you can do the lobby area i mean it's all and and so she looked it up and she called this guy and i'm like okay what's what's the bottom line here because this guy has some good information. I want to give him the right information and, and go from there. I said, he's not an unreasonable man. I said, we get along great. He has some questions. He has rights that are, that he has rights. And we just want to make sure. And she's like, yep, yep. We were, she goes, you know what? I think we made a mistake here. I said, good enough. I mean, people make mistakes all day long. They do. Just like you said. Yep. I said, so how, what do we go, where do we go from here? Yeah, this isn't about, I, I'm not looking to humiliate or denigrate nope. or anything like that. Nope. I am looking to just have it be correct. I just have one question for you, sir. Yeah, let me finish. Oh, and sure. Then, and then bet. you can, yep. I'm, I'm on till five. Okay. So, so, <laughs> right. so I'm good for you, man. <laughs> I right. am good for you. All right. Um, so uh, I, I kind of said, well, 
is there any place he, he says if you want here's my boss my boss's name and number please give this to him cool. maybe, you, maybe you have that maybe you don't well um, i'm gonna go in and politely uh just uh let her know i appreciate that it's a mistake it's yep. it's not a big deal now yep. everything's good to go actually i have two questions uh, uh, let me ask oh you, sir but, but, sir sorry sir. my age off it's all right no problem just to follow up do you want me to come in there with you just as a witness or you know that i would appreciate that just just, just just so that it's it's clear and all that kind of stuff yep um one just because i had technically uh sergeant reyes or uh, officer reyes officer reyes, or yep. officer reyes and the other officer the the uh, white guy can't yeah, remember. hang on he's new hang on give just give me just a second it's all right you're gonna make me look at my phone ah, it's all right don't worry about yeah. it anyways i could could i just because oh, i know sorry. i can't get some sort of a notice do you Tyler. mind just so that i have it on camera you saying i am not trespassed from this usps yes um whatever your name is mr nice guy um <laughs> you you are not trespassed i'll make sure that that trespass goes away awesome okay cool. um it was a mis it was just a, a genuine mistake yeah. everybody no apologizes problem. the police department apologizes it's all right hey we solved the problem i'm yeah. not looking to escalate i know you're not i am looking to solve the problem the right way uh, so the other question i have is how do you survive drinking so much freedom every day you drink so much freedom that i it's almost like you should be bursting right now i don't know what, clearly, you, I don't know what you mean you, I, I mean standing up for my freedom you love freedom so much you came down here you didn't let pride get in the way you did the right thing look at my age a lot of officers don't want to do that stuff you know what there are a lot of good cops out there i do there want are. To say there, there are, are a lot of good cops yep and and i think just like you and i think we talked about it you treat people like you want to be treated if yep. i had a complaint if i thought i was wrong and I turned to the police for something. Hey, can you turn that down a little bit? Uh, I would want the same thing. I would want a cop to go, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if the right thing was done or not. I don't know. See the intricacies of the boat. Well, I'll go down there and find out for you. Awesome. And, and what, who wouldn't? I You're mean, a gentleman you? and a scholar, sir. You mind yeah. going in with me? Let's go. All right, All right guys. So, uh, Sergeant Skelton drinks an impossible amount of freedom every day and his his vehicle is not a vehicle he he flies to work on an eagle yeah no and i drink <laughs> i pick way too much mountain dew thank you i'll, I'll ask for uh, the manager who i spoke with sure you bet would that be okay yeah absolutely. that way that way you sure you get it done right properly. no problem no problem at all i'll just stand up over here excuse me so how else is your day going? What's that? I said, how else is your day going? My day's going great. Good. I, uh, I, I just, I couldn't be a happier man. I Good. have a wonderful family. And Good. That's what I counts. I in a beautiful country. And, and you're healthy. And I'm healthy. You're 100%, man. Yep. There's a lot more things to... Oh, are you kidding me? ...be overwhelmed yeah. by. But so you're ahead of us, just to let yeah. you know. Sorry about that. Yeah. Just how, about, how about you, sir? How's your day going along? Every day is a good day. Every day above ground is a good day for me. <laughs> <my age. laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I've done this. I've been doing this for. I apologize. I've been doing this for uh, going on 44 years now. You've been, been a police officer for 44 years. Hang on, let me catch my breath. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know what? It's still a great job. You mean, everybody's got a story. I love that. Everybody has got a story. And you talk to these wonderful people like you. You know, you talk to wonderful people, and if you can help them out, and you can go, I mean, you're not going to solve their problems. And some of the big, huge problems that they have, you're probably not going to solve in a few hours. Sure. But if you can solve someone's problem for a little bit, and you go, no, that guy went away happy. He's got a good impression of the Renton Police Department. He's I do. He's got a good impression of this. I do. Man, that, that's everything. I will say, yeah. like, my, my... Could, could you have the manager come back out here for just a moment, please? Thank you so much. We'll be, we'll be out here in the lobby. Sure. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, uh, I, I did not have a favorable impression going, uh, going away. However, the reason I went over is because, again, people can make mistakes, too. Um, if they make a mistake, I think they should be offered the opportunity to correct it and have everybody be cordial and polite and solve the problem that way. And you know, if then it, it's not solved and, and people are really upset. He just, he just wants to say a couple things nice things. Everything's good to go now? Yep. Yes, apparently. Okay, I, I appreciate it, thank you. And we spoke, and so thank you very much for your time. I'm so sorry. But no, that's not anything to be sorry about.
Okay. You're amazing. Sure, you say that now. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, ma'am. Okay, All right, guys, here we go. Ren Police Department. They uh, squared him away with their sergeant. Um, you know, I wish I wouldn't have called him a dick just because um, that's just not typically my style. Uh, but, you know, I got pissed, so whatever. But all is square in Renton now. We're off to Kent, the city of Kent just north of here. Stay tuned, guys.